First thing I'm going to do now is we're going to, um, what you call it? One of the things that I noticed this weekend from the Pan Ams that came was nobody was accepting guard pulls. Okay, besides taking the back, there was a lot of back taking, there was a lot of things that I noticed this weekend, a lot of different, a lot of stuff that we do here, okay? But uh, a main thing of mine, and it was something that I wanted to show you tonight, every time somebody pulled guard, guys weren't just accepting the guard uh, pull. So, you know, anytime somebody's gonna pull guard on you, okay, they have to grab you, okay? So what really goes on a lot of times in like local competitions and even competitions up until, uh, you know, maybe like a year ago is like, Somebody just accepts a guard pull. So like when Elliot pulls guard, it's just like, I just accept going into his guard, I accept his grip, and now we're gonna play where he wants to play, okay? I ain't doing that, okay? So if Elliot wants to grab, however he wants to grab, turn okay? However he wants to grab, okay? He's gonna grab, okay? I'm gonna re-grab, and when he pulls, okay, as he starts to pull, I need to get my knee higher than his, okay? So if he's pulling, actually, Okay, if he's pulling with this foot in the hip, right away, I'm gonna get my knee higher than his and I'm going. Okay, so from here, okay, and again, a lot of this, how is he standing? He's standing left foot forward, okay? So I know if he gets a grip, so he decides to pull, what leg's coming up? Now, I always have to be careful that he might fake and go for an ankle kick. I have a friend who used to do that a lot, okay? But if he starts to go, when he starts to go into his guard pull right away, as he starts to go, I need to get my leg higher than his. So when he starts to pull, when he's starting to fall, when his knee starts going low, I gotta bring my knee high. Okay, so right away, once I notice that, high, and right away I'm going through. Okay, with a knee, with a knee through pass right here. Now I can also make grips. Okay, so right here he starts to pull. Okay, and I start to grab right here, and I grab. Okay, where, you know, maybe I can start pinning down, okay, I can go into Toriana passes, okay, um, however you decide, but to me, this is like the more, the most effective one, okay, if I can get my knee higher than his before his butt hits the floor, so he goes to go, whether I have grips or not, right here, see, my knee is high, okay, and I'm starting to go right into a neutral pass, so don't accept somebody just pulling guard, okay, he wants to pull guard, I'm going to make him pay. I'm not just gonna accept where he wants to play, okay? You know, so right away, whether we're grip right or not, he grips, you know. Another thing too is like, I'll get into that next. Okay, we start, we start going, he starts to go right away, here, here, dropping down. Okay, so right away, even with his grips, now he pulls, okay, I'm halfway through, and now the fight is here. Okay, because he's gonna try to move, I got my own hook, he's gonna try, you know. I'm gonna be tight here, and now I'm gonna to start to pull up and pass. Okay, so this is more of a timing thing, but as you see, as his butt starts to go to the ground and his knee starts lowering from his guard pull, that's when we're raising ours. So when our knee gets higher than his, we're going knee cut right away. All right? It might take you a couple times to get this down, but once you do, this is something that like, I want to see, don't just accept somebody being where they want to be. Okay, let's go, one, two, three.